advanced procedures number 14. Um, at this point, you are almost finished with the course. Um, and if you've been working in order, you might be almost finished with all of the Code Monkey Jr. activities. So let's see. We do not want to go towards the treasure first. We want to go get that banana that they hid all the way in the back there, trying to see if we would forget that. That's an old trick, though, and we're on to it. So clearly, we're going to want our triangle to go that way, which would need a one, two, and a jump up. We want to get to the next triangle, and triangle will be the only one going towards that banana in the opposite direction. The others will bring us to the treasure. So one, two, and a jump up. Whoops. Got to be careful with that. Sometimes they go not in the order that you want. All right. Now, up. Oh, hold on. See what I notice here? You always got to check it. So one, two, and then jump up. For this triangle, we can't go forward to. We have to jump up, which is okay because um, we can jump up from here. We'll just land on the next square. So it's, it's not going to affect anything as long as we're not crashing into one of the platforms like here. So let me see this. Jump up, forward, forward. And this one's forward, forward, jump up. Ah, so we have to compromise. So we're gonna need to jump up here, and that's a forward. Then we need a forward. Our second one here is forward, so we can have a forward in the middle. Now this one we would do just go forward, but for this one, we need to jump up last. So we're gonna put a jump up here too. So our, jump, our monkey will be jumping up in a few places where it doesn't need to, but that's okay. I'm going to test this to make sure that, that this works to get us the banana. Because I'd like to make sure I have this figured out before I work on the other ones. All right, so we made it to the banana. Perfect. So we might have to do a little of the same thing with the green circle. So for this one, we're going to do a jump up and a jump up. You can see here we would just go forward. But if we do jump up and jump up, it'll still work. And if here we do jump up and jump up, it'll still work. So I guess we're doing two jump ups. Even though we don't always need, whoop, wrong direction, to jump up. I don't know if you're like me, but I sometimes do that. So now we have our square. Now, I can tell that this one needs a jump up at the end. Oh no, this one just needs to get to our blue. So this one just needs some going forward. But this one is gonna need a jump up. So we need a jump up and a forward forward. So we're gonna put jump up, forward forward. And some people might think, oh, well I'll just always jump up instead of going forward. No, we can't always do that. We can't bump our heads. So jump up, forward forward works here. I think we've got them worked out. For a moment, I thought they were giving us one that was too easy for almost the end, but I see they've made it more challenging because they're very different sequences for each time. So you need to make some compromises. We need to make the sequence work though for wherever the monkey encounters that shape. 